As you may or may not know, one of the many reasons why Toni Morrison is a noted author is for her incorporation of historically realistic events woven into her fictional novels. While you can definitely enjoy any of her works without prior knowledge to historical references, we've compiled a video of a few things you might want to look into before you get started on your Morrison journey. Don't worry, what we're about to share won't spoil the book. In Toni Morrison's Sula, one character is given the name of Shadrach. It is derived from a name in a story of the Old Testament, Shadrach, spelled S-H-A-D-R-A-C-H. -H. In this story of the Old Testament, Shadrach is one of three Jewish men who refused to denounce their beliefs and were consequently thrown into a furnace by the king of Babylon. Instead of burning, however, they returned from the furnace unharmed. Morrison also makes specific food references. One of these references is to a pole bean called Kentucky Wonders, a six to nine inch long, slender beanstalk. These wonder pole beans have about nine brown pods inside. After preparation, they can be eaten whole or by snapping the beanstalk and popping out the pods. Sula takes place in the fictional city of Medallion, Ohio. In Medallion, there's an up and coming golf course. Although Medallion, Ohio is not a real city, we found out that Ohio does actually house a golf club named Medallion the Club. Medallion the Club is in Lorraine, Ohio, Toni Morrison's birthplace. It is also the oldest predominantly African-American congregation in the city of Lorraine. Founded in 1905, it is a member of the Connection African Methodist Episcopal Church, which was the first religious organization in the world founded as a result of racial injustice in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1787 by the Right Reverend Richard Allen. <laughs> 